Judy Hellman was the project manager for this mural and she did a great job making sure that we had every single little thing we needed when we needed it. Every detail, right down to when Rebecca's birthday came along and Judy brought in surprise cupcakes. After all the planning and getting the logistics in order, we're finally ready to get started on the actual art installation. We had a few fake brick masonite panels uh, for testing the colors and textures down below before trying it up on the real deal wall. In the end, we actually did get the same look in our full scale version, uh, but then it got edited out later anyway. <laughs> took us about two coats of opaque and then maybe another four coats of transparent paint on top of that uh, to get it just how Rebecca had wanted it. But in the end, we got it perfect. We nailed it. When I was initially selected as a finalist, I did a site visit to the at t building and climbed up to the rooftop to get a bird's eye view of the river and surrounding landscape. What struck me right away were the vast lines of intersection and convergence of the river, the railroads, bridges, roads, ramps, and trails. So I recorded these visual cues and angles and used that as inspiration for an initial painting that I created in my studio. I wanted to maximize the impact of the unique faceted walls of the building by creating a painting with contrasting faces that reveals differently depending on your vantage point. It was also important for me that the mural concept tie into the river's cultural relevance in a site-specific way. So I immediately remembered the Adunde Festival, a celebration of African heritage, which takes place on neighboring South Street and begins with a ceremonial offering of fruit and flowers at the South Street Bridge. So the bright warm colors are a nod to this festival and the colorful celebration that takes place right here. This was the most beautiful job site I'd ever been on. The vistas all around and the bustle of the city and the dancing play of light and atmosphere stretching from the park below us to the center city skyline, the constantly active railroad line, the Schuylkill River and its jogging trail, the 30th Street Station in the distance, all of this converging at this one building. Convergence celebrates a stretch of the Schuylkill River that brings together diverse transport, pathways, culture, and the people of Philadelphia. I wanted the mural to be striking but also harmonious within its environment, including the street art that runs along the railroad wall below, and I actively responded to this when designing the mural. Convergence evokes facets of light on water, aerial maps, tectonic processes, intersections of roads and bridges, and connective pathways. Public art can humanize the built environment. It was my hope to create something bold, uplifting, and dynamic that could improve the daily experience of the people passing by it. <laughs>